We just shared that former Vice President Mike Pence would be speaking to the media in advance of a speech at Washington and Lee University. And let's listen in for a moment and see what the former Vice President is saying. Biden's policy is insolvency. And President Biden actually refuses to even sit down and talk about the national debt crisis and solutions to that crisis. So tonight in Washington and Lee, I'm going to talk about that, particularly with these young people, and see if we can help to marshal voices in this generation for challenging leaders today to confront this major crisis. So those will be some of the themes we cover tonight. And I'm happy to take a Mr. question. Vice Mr. President. Mr. President, you noted that even members of your own party are worried about having that conversation about entitlement reform. Yeah. Can you just talk about how you would plan to change the mind of, say, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell or Speaker uh, Kevin, Kevin McCarthy? Well, first, let me, let me say I fully support Speaker Kevin McCarthy's decision to take Social Security and Medicare out of the debate over raising the debt ceiling. Uh, that's, a, that's a sound tactical decision. Uh, but I, I cannot endorse uh, voices in the, our party today uh, that simply want to walk past the problem uh, of national debt uh, by pledging to never touch Social Security and Medicare. I mean, the truth is we've got, we've got candidates for president today that are, that are saying the very same thing uh, that Joe Biden is saying, and, and that's just unacceptable. Uh, and so I, I am going to continue to be a voice in my party for saying that there is a way for us to advance common sense and compassionate reforms to Social Security and Medicare that will put our nation back on a path toward fiscal solvency. It's going to take leadership. It's going to take the ability to bring together people of, in both political parties, ultimately. But I think the American people deserve nothing less. They deserve us to square our shoulders, be straight with them about the magnitude of this challenge and offer the kind of solutions that are worthy of the American people. Mr. Mr. Vice President, do you think Americans should protest if President Trump is indicted? Well, look, every American has the right to let their voice be heard. The Constitution provides the right to peaceably assemble. Uh, but I think in this instance, I would discourage Americans from engaging in protests if, in fact, the former president is indicted. And, uh, I understand the frustration. I, I, as I said this past weekend, I, uh, if the president is, in fact, indicted by the Manhattan DA, that appears to me to be a politically motivated prosecution. Uh, but I think uh, letting our voices be heard uh, in, in other ways and, and not engaging uh, in protests, I think is most prudent uh, at this time. And I, I'd, encourage, I'd encourage Americans to give voice to their frustration, uh, express their concern about their prosecution, just as I have, but, uh, but protest in the immediate aftermath, I think, uh, uh, I, I think uh, they should think better of. Mr. Vice President, you said there are better choices than Donald Trump for a president in 20. And former <clears throat> Vice President Mike Pence taking questions from the media in advance of an appearance at Washington and Lee University. And you just heard his response to a reporter's question about potential protests if former President Donald Trump is indicted. Yeah, and, and his response was that he didn't think protests were in the best interests of, of people, that they should watch it, that it's a politically motivated prosecution, but he didn't think protesting was necessarily the best idea. He also uh, was talking about some some uh, fairly well-known uh, lines of Republican politics, mm -hmm. and uh, but then just as we were, and we, we do have to, to leave this now, but we do have a reporter on the scene recording this now, uh, people asking more and more about the situation with Donald Trump, and we hope to continue to follow that coming up tonight on 10 News at 6. Yes, we'll have more information then. You can also head to WSLS.com for more live streaming of Vice President Mike Pence.